Hello and welcome. I'm Chaz Kirschman, and what you're about to watch is a video on Jesse Slaughter. Jesse Slaughter is a victim of Davi Vanity. This is going to go into my Davi Vanity cases. Make sure you go on over to my channel and inform yourself with who Davi Vanity is. In short, Davi Vanity is the lead singer of Blood on the Dance Floor, and he also has um he also has um uh, he also oh he also sexually assaulted 21 plus women well he also he also allegedly assaulted 21 plus women now just so people don't get confused jesse slaughter's actual name is damien jesse changed their name to damien and also identifies as non-binary we're going to jump into one of the clips where jesse slaughter talks about how they came up with the name jesse slaughter Let's check it out. Ow. And that um, was his, it was his idea to, to make your identity Jesse Slaughter. So your nickname was Jess, Jesse, right? Yes. And where did the slaughter come from? We just went through a bunch of like scene names that sounded cool, like Jessica Jealousy, a um, couple other ones. But I think we just thought Jesse Slaughter sounded the coolest. They shouldn't be hanging out. One's 10, the other's there's 24 or something like that this next part i'm going to show you is a trigger warning it's gonna it's gonna piss some people off uh so if you have ever dealt with sexual assault or something like that don't watch it yeah i was a 10 year old and he fingered cake into my mouth and then wanted me to blow him in a bathroom she was 10 years old and he wanted so in this next clip, she explains how she was trying to talk to police and trying to tell people about Davi, but no one would listen. I did talk to police about Davi, but they didn't want to hear me. They were so focused on the allegations against my father that they just skated over Davi. Now, talk, I thought about talking about the uh, the whole abuse side of things, what happened with the, the father and, and uh, Damien, but... Uh, AKA Jesse, Jesse Slaughter, but I didn't, I feel like that's not the main focus of the video. The main focus is Davi and we should, we should focus on that. So let's move forward. If you look on page three, you'll see that. Summer of 2010, a girl who I went to school with posted a thing on Sticky Drama about me dating him. And the post that she's talking about from Sticky Drama, I believe to have found, I think it's this post right here where she posts that blood on the dance floor, floor lead singer Davi Vanity is at it again. He is apparently having a friends with benefits type relationship with self-proclaimed scene queen Jesse Slaughter, who is only 11. The post just goes on to be bullying uh, Damien, aka Jesse Slaughter. So in this next clip, Damien uh, states that they post a YouTube video of them retaliating against this girl that just talked crap about them on the internet, on drama, drama sticky, sticky drama. And I retaliated with the pop a block in your mouth and make a brain slushy video, which was directed at her. Now, if you don't know what video she's talking about, I'm going to play it for you right now. Uh, this is her when she was, uh, I think 10, 10 or 11. So let's check it out. Hey YouTube, it's Jesse Slaughter here, and this is to all you fucking haters, okay? Guess what? You guys are bitches, you know what? You don't phase me. I'm just doing this just so you can tell. I read the comments, I read the messages, I reply to them, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm happy with my life, okay? And if you can't, like, realize that and stop hating, then you know what? I'll pop a Glock in your mouth and make a brain slushy. Okay. So to recap, a girl post on Sticky Drama exposing Davi's and Damien's relationship. And then she releases this Papa Glock in your mouth brain slushy video. And then it blows up. It blows up on the internet. And a horde of internet trolls and internet warriors come and attack Damien. Only. Damien was only 10 years old at this time too. So keep that in mind. And did you have any idea at the time how this would explode on the internet? No, I was afraid that the police were gonna get involved and that Davi was gonna get arrested. So my first instinct was cover Davi's ass, cover my own ass, get angry at this girl. 
and it, it spiraled in a completely unexpected direction. So in case you're wondering why Damien wants to cover Davi's ass, it's because Damien looks up to Davi. Davi was a famous singer to Damien and Damien just wanted to be friends and hang out. And you can't forget that Damien was only 10 years old. So at 10 years old, you, no one knows any better at 10 years old. So you get a chance to hang out with your your most fam favorite and most looked up to singer. You're going to hang out with them. You're going to you're going to want to be around them all the time. You're willing to do anything to protect them. And that's the mindset that Damien is coming from here. So all of this is starting to stack up. Um, the bullies are coming in and the Internet's attacking uh, Damien and Damien is having trouble sleeping at night. Ha Damien is getting picked on at school because of it. And Damien decides to go onto a live stream and, you know, let people know how how they felt. But during the live stream, or it could have been a video too. correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it could have been a YouTube video to make it more clear. Uh, Damien's dad gets on there and uh, does says some meme worthy stuff. And Damien even says, my dad says some meme, meme worthy stuff. Check out uh, check out the clip here with uh, Chris Hansen and Damien. And then I'll show you after that the uh, You Done Goofed video. Uh, the You Done Goof video was a video that my dad made with me where I was crying and he was yelling at the camera. He spouted some very meme-worthy lines. All right, so what I'm about to show you is the You Done Goofed video. Okay, you guys, this is Jesse Slutter, and you I know just what? wanted to say that you guys have ruined my life. First, I'm going to tell you right now, dad. this is from her father. You bunch of lying, no good punks, and I know who it's coming from because I've backtraced it. And I know who's emailing and who's doing it. And you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. Right. So you one better one. write one more thing or screw with my computer again. You'll be arrested. You End of conversation from her father. You write it yep. fucking gonna come and beat her ass. And if you come near my daughter, guess what? Consequences will never be the same. You lying bunch of pricks! See, my house has been like this. Everybody's been posting stuff about me, okay? My, I, I am live personally in peace. torn. I live in PC. <laughs> I am torn. I am literally, I have been having emotional breakdowns one after another. <laughs> For the past, like, three days. You've been sleep, you can't sleep, you can't eat. Because of them <laughs> yes. You guys, I just tearing me apart right now. I am crying my eyes out if you haven't noticed that. <laughs> why is you stop hating? You guys are ruining my fucking life. <laughs> um. It wasn't too long after this video that parody started showing up on the internet and Davi himself also did a parody on it. Let's check it out. I done goofed. I done goofed. I tried to take a fucking photo booth picture. I done goofed. And did it work out? Consequences will never be the same the again. Will never be the same. This is her father. 
That's her father. You done goofed! You done fucking goofed. <laughs> I personally think that anybody that does a parody on this is a... Uh, something's wrong with them. The parody was pretty cringe much like his music and much like my videos but it wasn't too long after parody started showing up on the internet of the you done goofed video and they went viral putting uh damien on the map and also on the news florida police are now investigating a case of extreme bullying online it all began after an 11 year old girl posted videos on youtube her family says they sparked a nightmare of pranks and death threats Police are now looking into what they say could amount to a cyber stalking case. Davi himself made a song about it. And one of those lines got turned into the name of a song by Blood on the Dance Floor, where they were talking about me. And uh, some of the lyrics include, my name and reputation won't be the target of a slut. I'll be on top of the world and you'll be cutting yourself fucked. My name and reputation won't be the target of a slut. I'll be on top of the world and you'll be cutting yourself up. Also, and look at me, I'm beautiful, not a suspect of rape. Don't you know I'm fucking boss? Read the fucking nameplate. Look at me, I'm beautiful, not a suspect of rape. Don't you know I'm fucking boss? Read the fucking nameplate. Lyrical gold. Lyrical gold indeed. In fact, I think it's really, really... I mean, it just goes to show you, like, what type of person Davi is in order to make a song about a 12 year old and to top it off he released it on damien's birthday too knowing it was damien's birthday so that goes to show you what kind of person davi is in fact this song had such pain on damien that damien tried to od after hearing this song i attempted suicide for the first time on my 12th birthday on your 12th birthday I listened to that song and then I tried to overdose. Um, yeah. That was, I don't know. I don't really remember. Now Damien does have some advice for everybody out there that may be going through something similar or possibly something with Davi. If you can speak out, if you have evidence, present it, post it, publish it, tell the world. Cause in numbers, we can get him taken down. We can do something. I had no evidence for 10 years. I had nothing to stand on. And what we need is people who have evidence. If you have something, please release it. If you have a story, please release it. Anything helps. Because without it, I didn't speak for 10 years because I didn't think anybody supported me. And it wasn't until I started speaking out that I got support. And more people just have to continue that wave. That's going to be the end of this YouTube video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that uh, I helped people out there understand that Damien's story a little more clear and in a little more accessible way. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and leave some comments down below and let me know what you think about the whole situation. And also, uh, I have a... Patreon I'm going to start up. It's nothing crazy, but I am planning on working on it. And I do have a goal of five Patreons. So if anybody would like to support the channel, please uh, check out the link down below in the description. And I go live on a website called Mixer Monday through Friday for four hours. Uh, I stream from 8 a.m. to 12. So if you want to come hang out with me while I'm live, uh, ask me some questions, get to know me. I'll be hanging out in there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I look forward to doing more videos for everybody. Hello, 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 hello.